on Teachable, you might have a need for a client to be able to click on this button here and for them to go down to the bottom of the page here so they can jump straight to pricing. It's always a good option for people to have a button they can click. People love to click buttons. So always having a button they can click on a page is great. Okay, this might not be the best background and things, but that's okay. We can fix that later. But this is the button here that we want them to click on it and it automatically goes down the bottom of the page. Now, you may not know how to do this in Teachable, so this video is to explain how to do that. So what we do is we go into the back end. So what we do is go into our courses. We select the one that we want to work on. In this case, it's Tea Time Tip 2. So I grab that information. And what I do is go into here. We've got the information about the course, etc. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going into the Pages button. I'm going to click on the word Edit on the Sales page. So this assumes you've already got your sales page fully or partially set up with that background it's looking a little bit distracting with having so much information on it so what I can do is I can actually click on banner go into the design tab and I can I've already adjusted the image opacity because obviously if I bring up to full vision it makes it even harder to see what's going on there and there is a little bit of a background color but what I can do is I can change that background color to one of my colors that I use now you'll see now that the white's standing out a lot more but this color here is no good. So all I need to do for the heading is just again change it to a different color. So in this case I can either put a color in here but I just want it to be white. So I can go down here. Now you can either sort of click here and try and get a white and that's close to white. So 255, 255, 255 on RGB is actually white. So I hit enter. Now that didn't update the heading text which is a bit bizarre so we can go back to this page we could do it on here instead so what we're going to do is highlight that text click on that button there and again just make this white so the white is 255 255 255 and that should hit enter and it should update it which it did so now we can see that stands out a little bit better obviously I could fiddle with this a bit more maybe I want to reduce the opacity of that image even more that looks a bit better now so we've got it sort of in the background but not as in your face as what it was a second ago so that addresses that first issue the next issue is how do we connect this button so that it will jump down the page down to here so the way that we go about that is we have to introduce what's called a custom HTML block so to insert a new block on the page we go add new block and we look for the one that says custom HTML we're always in Teachable. You'll see it brings it up here, but you can't actually do anything with it until you click this green Add button. So we go Add. It's fine. It's at the bottom of the page at the moment. That's cool. So it's down the way down the bottom here. That's okay. We can just put our information in it and then we'll move it to where we need it to be. So in this case, I'm going to insert the code that Teachable has given me to use. So this is the code that I will put in the video description below. So we have a code called a name equals pricing options. And so we're opening and closing that particular piece of information. So if we click back one, now you'll see that it's disappeared because it's actually code. So it's not visible on the website, but we can see it's still here. To get the block where we need it to be, at the moment it's at the very bottom of the page. So for instance, if you don't believe me, email leads form, we could drag that up. So we click on this little dot dot dots here and we drag it up above pricing and then you'll see the email leads is now above pricing well we don't want that so we put that back so what I'm going to do here the only reason I showed you that was just so that because you can't see the custom html block anymore so you don't know where it is so what I'm going to do is just drag that up above pricing so what that's done is where this blue line is is it's basically put in that hidden text if you like that hidden information that says this is called pricing options, this piece here. Now what will happen then is that we can direct the website to jump down. So we're just going to click on update. We're going to go back out of the sales page. And when we go back in here, the reason I've gone out of here is because I need to grab the sales page URL. The place that I grab that is from this dot 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 on the side here. Make sure we're on the sales page and click on copy URL link. So copy that link 
And then all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to editing that page. And this time I'm going to go back up to the banner block where we were just a second ago. And I'm going to go into banner. And this time I'm going to scroll down on the left side here. Now if the button was unchecked, we'll see that there won't be a button on the screen. If the show button is not checked. All we do is click the show button and it reappears. So there's a couple of options here. So you can go to URL or you can go to checkout page. Now checkout page will connect to a pricing plan. So there's two pricing plans there. The problem with this is that I don't want them to go say to the US dollar or to the AUD pricing plan. I want them to be able to choose which one is most appropriate for them. So that's why I couldn't check the go to checkout page. So instead I'm going to check go to URL and I'm going to put in the um, the URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the sales page because we were staying on the sales page and then I'm going to add hashtag which gives you that what's called anchor text connects to the anchor text and we called it pricing options. So that's what we're going to do and that's all the information. I can change what the click through is here on the button so I've changed it to enroll me now please rather than just enroll and on the design tab we've got button um, some button things we can do so we can adjust the the radius of the button and things like that but if you want to alter the color of the button you actually do that site wide through your site settings and I can show you that in a sec if you want to so if we just go back here so we just make sure we're all okay we can go update now we're just going to check. So if I click on that button, will it go down the page? The way that I do that is I click on the words preview. And now we'll see we're on the page. And now if I click on a row me now, please, it opens up a new screen, which is a little bit annoying, but it does work. And we'll see what's jumped straight down to our pricing options. So now people can choose the appropriate option for them. And then once they've clicked on the appropriate pricing option, then we'll go enroll now and it will then go to the checkout page on Teachable. The checkout page you can also customize. So there's the checkout page. So this stuff here is basically standard. We can't control it. What you can customize is what appears on the right here. So you can customize it and put different testimonials in. You just get two. And you can also put in what the course is and what is included in the course. And you can also include the money back guarantee information. So that is what is happening. So that is done. Now, like I said, if you did want to change that button color across your website, I'll just quickly show you how to do that. So we'll just get out of this, go back here. They were all saved before, so I didn't need to worry about saving it again. If you're not sure, obviously you can always click save again. So what we're going to do now is we go back to our dashboard to the site wide issues site. And now we can see our color palette. So as you can see here on the right, buttons and links are going to be this blue. I do typically like buttons and links to be a green. So I could alter this more into a greeny range. And if I have a set hex code, I can obviously enter that there. But if I do that, so if I alter it here, I just need to make sure that that's going to save. There we go. We have the word save. And then what will happen if you go back to, say, this page, if I refresh that page, you'll see that that button is now bright green. So that might be a bit too much for my website. I do prefer it to have, you know, some connection to your website branding. And so although I'd like green buttons, I think I'll stick with this blue one for now because it is one of my brand colors. So you can set up your whole palette of brand colors in here and that will make your life easier. When we make changes, just make sure that you click save. So we've just shown you today quickly how you can address this issue of jumping down the page to the pricing plan and also just how to make a few tweaks at the top with the banner information, the name on the button, the color of the button, all that sort of thing. Hope that was helpful and look out for future tips and tricks about Teachable.